Welcome back to the Body Coach TV and welcome to a 14 minute kettlebell workout. We've got seven exercises, we're going to do 35 seconds on each one with a 25 second rest and we're going to do two rounds in total. So seven exercises, twice, total of 14 minutes. We're going to start things off with a kettlebell swing. I'm using a 12 kilogram kettlebell, haven't done it for a while, got to go easy on the wrist. So pick a weight that's suitable for you and we're going to do 35 seconds of nice strong kettlebell swings, really focusing on the hamstrings and the glutes. So fire it up, activate those muscles in the posterior chain and let's get the kettlebell nice and high, just above eye level if possible. Right, here we go. So 35 seconds of work. So get your swing, let's go. Drive through the hips. So slight bend in the knees and you want to drive through nicely to get that kettlebell up. So hip thrust, this is a posterior chain exercise, so you're not bending your legs and squatting it, you're not bending like that, you're just a slight bend in the back of the knee, and then you drive forward, hamstrings and glutes, come on, last few seconds, squeeze, and relax, perfect, and slowly come to a rest, we're now doing single arm, so front squat, so basically from here, Wrapping the front squat, we come down and up. So we're going to do 35 seconds on the right arm, uh, right arm. Then we rest, we switch, and do 35 seconds on the left arm. So nice deep squats. Let's go down and up. Good. Driving through those hills. Nice strong squats. The weight's just coming through one side. So you've got to really use your core strength. Stand up tall. We'll do 35 seconds on the right arm. Then we swap. Squat down low, drive up. Perfect. Keep going, last few seconds. Five on the clock. Stand up tall. And relax, perfect. So let that one on the ground. Shake the arm off. Same thing. Left arm, front squat. We've got seven exercises, seven. We're doing two rounds in total, straight through. So short and sweet. If the kettlebell's too light for you, increase it on the second round. Here we go. Holding that weight up nice and high. We come down and up, good. Squat low, stand up tall. Perfect. Nice strong squats, down and up. 20 seconds left. Brilliant effort. 10 seconds. Stand up tall each time. One more squat to finish. Down, up, and relax, perfect. Okay, so shake those arms off. Same position, front wrap, right hand. We're going to lunge back, and as you come up, you're going to front uh, shoulder press. So lunge, step, shoulder press. So doing two moves, reverse lunge, feet together, press. Let's go, so reverse lunge, feet together, press. Strict press, no bounce. No bounce, it's a strict shoulder press. Press, good, rack it, reverse lunge, and press. Make them shoulders work, come on. So if you were to use a bounce, that's a bit easier, but I'm going for a strict standing shoulder press. Nice rep, and relax, perfect. Ooh. Felt that with that 12. Same thing, left arm, front rack. With the left reverse squat, stand strong and press, shoulder press, same again. You're doing really well. Remember, you're going to have to choose the weight that's right for you. You might be lighter, heavier, whatever you've got. Keep working all the way through. So reverse lunge, front rack, reverse lunge, oh sorry, reverse lunge, and then press. And again, reverse lunge, stand strong, strict press, and down. 
Go that in your own time. Or this arm feels much weaker. Left and press. Good. Reverse. Step. One more breath. Yeah, I'm struggling on that, on that first set. I think I might, on the second set, I'll probably use just that little push press, a little bounce, just to help gain momentum. Okay, next exercise we're gonna do, holding the kettlebell with both hands. We're gonna do a squat into a press. So squat down, and as you come up, you press. Nice and hard above the head. So squat, press. Perfect, come on. One more exercise after this, you're gonna be down on the ground. Without the kettlebell, we're gonna do press ups. So upper body move, without the kettlebell. Front squat, shoulder press. Front squat, shoulder press, perfect. Come on. 10 seconds on the clock. Get those arms right above the head. Last rep to finish. Come down, drive up, and relax. Perfect, well done, right. Kettlebell down on the floor. Push ups now. From the knees, off the knees, whatever's right for you. Just gonna wear the shoulders out a little bit. I'm gonna be doing these from the knees. Okay, starting in 10 seconds time. Let's go, it's two short rounds, seven minutes. It'll be over really quickly. It'll be over before you know it. So I'm gonna go slightly narrower, bend the elbows and press. So if you'd want, do full push ups. If not, do them like me, where you keep your elbows tucked in, knees on the ground, come down and push. And push, fantastic, come on, 20 seconds left. Okay, then that's the end of workout. So that's the end of circuit one. We then get up, straight back in. Same thing, seven rounds, seven moves, sorry, seven exercises. Come on, push. Right, well done. So we're halfway through. Exactly the same things coming up. Swings, squats, lunges. Okay, so picking up that weight again. We're going into the swings. Remember, it's not a squat. It's just a slight bend in the knees. And using your glutes and hamstrings, you want to drive forward, so thrust the hip forward. And that's going to take the kettlebell and give you the momentum that you need. Let's go, thrust. Up. So get that just above eye level. Really swing, keep momentum. Squeeze your glutes. Think about the muscles you're working now. Glutes and hamstrings. Let's go. Squeeze. I'm feeling it now. Drive. Drive. Five seconds. Last few reps. And relax, well done, right, it's a short workout, very short. Next one, right, kettlebell, front squat, single arm, loading that front shoulder. Okay, doing well. I thought about doing three rounds, 21, uh, 21 minutes, but I thought just keep it short, short and sweet, 14 minutes in and out for the busy people out there. Right, let's go. One, if you've got more energy, you know, you've got more in the tank. Rewind the video, do another round. Front, squat, front, squat. Getting deep into that squat and drive out. Come on, strong legs. Let's go, push. Come on, press. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Rest that arm. Same thing now, left arm, left front squat. Same again, going in 10 seconds. So left arm, rack it up, front squat. Let's go, let's get done, get it done. So down and up, down and up, perfect. Come on. Whew. 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 
Deep breath, breathe in. Nearly there. 15 seconds on the clock. Last set on this exercise. Come on. One more squat to finish. Down. Relax. Okay, so now we're going to go front, right hand, reverse lunge together. If you need to, little bounce, getting that single shoulder press. Okay, here we go. So reverse lunge to start. And right leg goes back. So right leg goes back to the middle, and from there, press and return. Lunge, stand, press. Lunge, stand, press. Come on. Lunge, stand, press. Repeat. Get that one right above the head. Really lock it out, lock it out. And back. Come on. Lunge, and press. Well done. Fantastic effort. Same again, left arm. Great little workout. Kettlebells are a good little bit of kit to invest in. I've got like a 10, a 12, and a 16. Really good to sort of build up the strength because after a few weeks this will feel easy. Right, so left, left arm. Ready? We go left leg back, step, and press. Reverse lunge, step, and push. Let's go, big step, so side on just so you can see. Left leg goes back, feet together, and press right on the head. Nice straight arm, rack it, and repeat. If you do find you need a bit of a bounce, it's fine just to kind of help yourself up with the press. Down, up, last rep. And relax, I right, shake your arms off. We're now doing our last set of squat into press. So squat press, and then we're finishing off with our set of push-ups on the ground, and that's the end of the workout. We've got a great little sweat, and this is a full body workout, we're working lots of muscles here. Okay, in five seconds time, picking up the weight. Let's go, so squat down, and shoulder press. Squat down, and as you come up, press. Squat, press. Squat, and push, come on, keep it going. Big reps, come on. 10 seconds on the, on the clock. Last set with this kettlebell, put it down. One more, big push up. And relax, well done, good effort. So way out of the picture, out of the way. Last exercise, 35 seconds of push-ups. Feel that in the shoulders. Okay, last push, down we go. So either full push-ups, or push-ups from the knees, elbows tucked in, let's go nice and narrow, not too wide. Narrow push-ups and press. Narrow and push, elbows tucked in. Fantastic, chest to floor. Get really deep into that push-up and straighten those arms at the top. Come on. Full reps. Full push-ups. 15 seconds on the clock. How many can you do in the last little push? 10 seconds. Come on. Last little push, three seconds. One more push-up to finish, one more. Up. And relax, fantastic effort. 14 minutes, two rounds. If you've enjoyed that and you've got more energy, do another round. If you'd like to see more kettlebell workouts, please let me know in the comments below, give us a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see, because now I've got a bit more time. I'm not doing Pee with Joe every day, I'm doing it three days a week. I've got more time to film more content for the channel, so please let me know in the, let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed today's workout, have a great day, and I'll see you very soon for another workout right here on The Body Coach TV. Thank you.